Okay, I'm doing this with the phone again. Hopefully it will work out well. It's been several years, four years actually, a little more than four years, since I had a Macri Moore the last time. And I don't remember the um, tube being quite so dark. If I was to search my wall back there, I could maybe find the, or the tube from the last time I had Macri Moore. But this is Macri Moore. It's peated, uh, peated from um, the Isle of Arran, the Lachranza Distillery. Now the Lachranza Distillery is to the north of the Isle of Arran, and uh, that's where all the Arran whiskey came from. And there's our bottle of Macri Moore. Maybe I should tilt that up a little bit. So, you, well, yeah, you can see that kind of, I guess. All right. And here's our um, tube. Now, the reason I'm doing Macri Moore after four years, oh, they changed, they, they're using the same bottle that Aaron uses now. The reason I'm doing this is because I recently picked up or got ah, this online from Alberta, the the lag it's a very big box so to have the box in the screen you have to almost squeeze me out but I'm gonna try these side by side to see if there's very much difference between uh, lag from the south of the Isle of Aaron and the Macri Moor from La Carranza. now the question is is La Carranza gonna keep making Macri Moor when lag is producing peated whiskey uh, who knows wait and see I guess uh, first of all, I'm going to get this open somehow. I got my, my little knife. Oh, I think I see the little perforations on the, the plastic cover here. The plastic. I think I got it now. All right, looks like I got it now, but I might have to do the same thing with the uh, whiskey from the Lag Distillery. There's our Macri Moore. Macri Moore bottled at 46% ABV. Okay, now for the Lag. Okay, this is comp this looks complicated. It has a oh look. The whole thing comes out of the box. Look at that. What do you know? And I just pull this right out. Now this leg is get rid of that. This is single malt scotch whiskey. Heavily peated, inaugural release, 2022, batch one. So we're going to try the lag. Batch one, inaugural release. Last time I had an inaugural release was years ago, and that was from Shelter Point. Uh, they, they stock this stuff in Alberta, which is wonderful. I think I'm going to need that little knife again to get this open. Uh... Oh, come on, you plastic stuff. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully I got it this time. Come on. There, we got the plastic thing off. And here... Oh, nice. Natural cork, just like the Macri Moore. And there's our leg, bottled at 50%, where the Macri is bottled at 46. Okay, see if I can get this lined up properly. Oh, both are quite light. If you look against my shirt, they're about the same color. 
um, what does it look like with this thing backing it? Yeah, I think the Macri is just a sh half a shade darker. No, maybe they're identical. Let me have another look. Oh, I'd say they're about as identical as you can get. Half a shade darker for the Macri, I think. Okay. I'm going to start nosing a little bit. Hmm. I'm getting... A little bit of peat smoke. I'm also getting some some fruits, typically cherry. Cherry on the macri more. Put the lag over there. Put me over here. Try and get this thing centered somehow. So much for being a director. Yeah, I'm getting some maraschino cherry, a little bit of smoke. Might take a while to get a little more out of this macri more. A bit of ripe banana. The, there's not that much peat in it, really. It's not like an Isla whiskey. It's not like a Lagavulin or a Lafroig or Ardbeg. Okay, what do I get on the nose from the leg? Fifty percent ABV sheeting action. Down it comes. Trails of small droplets. Oh, <laughs> this has a lot more going for it. Oh, I'm liking this already. Fifty percent ABV. I'm getting door planings. Door planings. I'm reminded of, you know, when it got humid in the summer, and the doors would swell, and my dad would take a plane and he'd plane the side of the door so that it would close into the frame without. Oh. This is nice. There's no age statement on it as far as I know. But that... Door planings. What else am I getting? I'm getting a little bit of a... A little bit of banana, but it's not just banana. There's something else mixed with it. No, not peanut butter. Okay. I will come back to that. Let's go over right back here to the Macri Moor. Okay. Use that maraschino cherry note again. Smells delicious. I 
Yeah, the peat isn't so strong. It's not in your face. I'm getting a little bit of charcoal. Garl char. Now along with my maraschino cherry, I am getting a bit of banana. Not much else. I don't know if my nose was ruined by doing the Bunahaven peated, but I had some water to drink. And I also ate a couple of oat cakes to cleanse the palate completely. And I don't taste anything now. There's nothing on my palate. Well, let's give this a go then. Ah. Oh, yummy. That maraschino cherry note is there too. And it transitions to, to smoke. It transitions to smoke. And it's not the kind of smoke that you get from Isla. It's not seaweedy. It's a little more, bit more woody. I'm guessing that the peat they're using is from the highlands. I'm guessing. I could be totally wrong about that. The peat is not medicinal, and I'm not getting a lot of um, iodine. Is a black cherry again transitions to smoky peat and there's still a hint of cherry in there with the smoke and the smoke is it's quite astringent this bottle may open up and get more interesting with time it, it's not the way I remember Macri more, but it is a different batch. I mean, it is four years later. This is most enjoyable. Now, what did I pay for it? I'm going to have to look. Aaron Macri Moore, $79.99, plus about... Okay, 50, 65, about 16 or 17 dollars on top of on top of 80. So like in the 90s, 97, 98 dollars, somewhere in that vicinity, and that would be for the Macri Moore lag. Lag batch one would be 114.99. So 115 dollars plus another 20 ish. Maybe another fifteen dollars, so one hundred thirty bucks, one hundred thirty bucks for the lag, including delivery and everything else. And what did I say? Um, ninety-five. Yeah, ninety-five, ninety-seven or so for Macri Moore. But we got higher ABV here with the lag. Macri Moor is nice. A little bit salty now. Now the lag. Oh, this is good. This has complexity. This has strength.
who was it suggested that I try Macri more against the lag? Is it an idea I had myself? I don't know. Don't remember. I love the nose on this. Yeah. Cleanse my palate just a bit more. Yeah, um, door planings, a bit of ripe banana, and I don't know what else I'm getting. Oh, complex. It's woody on the palate as well. Woody and smoky. There is peat smoke. It is the same, it is a similar peat smoke to the one in the Macri Moor. A little more subtle and a little more wood. Quite a bit more wood on the leg. Do that again. What does it say? Ex bourbon cask. <laughs> oh, transparent bottle. It's got a lot of information on here. Lag single malt scotch whiskey, 50% ABV, 700 mils. Barley variety, concerto. Peat source, northeast Scotland. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. Peating level, 50 ppm. Really, is it that high? Water source, borehole. Okay. Production, double distilled. Okay. Cast type, 100% first fill X bourbon barrel. Oh, Okay, bottling, non-chill filtered, natural color, strength 50% ABV, tasting notes, heather before, heather bonfire with citrus twist, distillery manager, Graham Conrad, limited release of 10,000 bottles. Heather bonfire. I was right about there being no... It doesn't say anything about the nose, though. We're getting quite a bit of wood. Bonfire, I guess you could say that. Fifty percent ABV, huh? What does it say for Macri Moore? Non-chill filter, natural color, single malt scotch whiskey, peated La Carenza. Over here it says, pure independent spirit. On the west coast of Isle of Arran lies a windswept and um, mystical peat bog called Macri Moor. Bronze Age stone circles and standing stones are strewn across the barren undulating terrain one of the stone circles is known as fingal's cauldron S seat where sits a stone with a carved hole the legendary warrior giant fingal is said to have tethered his favorite dog bram bran to this stone the peated expression of the Aaron single malt perfectly captures the rugged beauty of the and lore of the landscape. Unleash the legend that is Macri Moor. Uh -huh. Oh, that is cute. If you look at this map, there's a, there's a, uh, let me see if I can get this. Thing. There's a map. There's the map. And on it, you can see where is Lag and La Carranza. Very cool.
I'm still getting an aftertaste of bonfire. And I'm pretty sure, or I'm I'm convinced that they probably used the same mm -hmm. the same peat for both of them because they have a similar similar flavor. At least the peat has a similar kind of thing to it. Okay, that was the lag. Oh, Machri. The lag just has so much more going on. So much more on the nose. Yeah, okay. Bonfire. Yeah. Okay, now it makes sense. <laughs> Like I said, I like both of them, but I'd have to say that the lag is just a little bit better. The lag just edges out the Macri more, but both of them are good. I suppose in this instance, you get what you pay for, because the one costs a little more than the other. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, uh Slanchava. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick.